Hello everybody, this is ZigZagZag coming to you from somewhere in this world. And we are at a point where we need to start preparing for this mission. We're down to one day, 19 hours, and we just gotta focus, 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 <laughs> and make sure we get to it before anything else pops up, surprises us, and wastes our time. The Aurora is flying back to get up in the neighborhood of the, the Flyers. Aurora is in great shape. We're just waiting for another flyer to pop out. We only need to take one more down to disrupt the behemoth. Uh, we have two ships here that need to get repaired. And actually, let me just do one quick shuffle on our airships here. Uh, let's pick the Manticore 2 and give it a far M module. And let's pick, we'll just make it land an Avery that's going to get both the weapons that are out there right now so they're all in one place he'll need to get repaired uh on this manticore and there we go let's get moving so what i'm thinking in the meantime since we only have once again i'm feeling like we don't have enough tech everything else is you know okay-ish not massively good but okay-ish we can get by so what i'm going to do is send the land and avery right next door for another 33 tech and just do that and then I'm thinking, you, the Manticore 2, are in great shape. Where would be the best or and or nearest place that has a decent amount of tech also? Uh, we traded here too recently. Uh, we got some down here. I wonder what the fly time is here. Let's find out. Uh, Fort Bologna, eight hours. Um, yeah, there's another place here. I wonder how long that would take. 10 hours, so it's quicker to come down here. So that this is this is where we will fly in eight hours and uh, trade food. So we're gonna trade food here. We're gonna trade food here for tech, then come back. Everybody that's in the base, and let's just double check so you can see why I'm okay taking a little time. Uh, patchwork needs to be at 100% for this mission, and it doesn't hurt for all of us that we have in here. They have stamina dings. It was nice to be having uh, full stamina on the upcoming mission, too. So that'll give us a chance for this dude to get healed up. We'll say everybody. So then I can make a complete choice on who we mount up onto the manticores and get going. So that's the plan there. We also have the, the other manticore traveling around in Asia. So let's just get this party started and get everybody flying. All right, we got our first trade right here. And 33 more uh, with still decent amounts of food. Uh, that makes me feel better already. And let's say, let, take Landon Avery back so he can get the rest of his stuff repaired. And there he is. Keep everybody flying. And let's explore here. Uh, all airships are here. No flyers have come out yet. And we have found a slime town. Our operatives have discovered a warehouse full of useful resources. However, there's always a however. Uh, the warehouse, along with the town it stands in, is covered in a slimy, slippery, algae-like growth that makes doing anything here tedious and exhausting. In other words, we will lose stamina, correct? <laughs> no, we're gonna we're gonna put you guys to work since you're not fighting right now. Get the resources anyway. Come on, build up your strength and whatnot. Stamina. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm, thank you for sweating a little bit for these 500 materials. That's amazing. It's hard work, and when it's over, everyone's going to need a good shower, but the effort is worth it. Oh, more than worth it. Anytime I, I got to remember, Slime Town's a good town. All right, and you know what I'm going to do just in case we get lucky? I'm going to fly up to this Sinidrian Haven. And uh, see if we can get a, you know, if it's a point of interest, maybe we can gain a four rep back with Sinedrian or something like that. And then it'll help out when we get to do our Guided by Whispers mission uh, over here. You, you never know. Stranger things have happened. Let's keep flying. No Karin yet. Research complete. All right. So at least for those uh, 
healing up in the base, we now have our single training facility operating at a 50% improved efficiency rate. So that'll help. Can't hurt while we're sitting there. All right, we got our final trade here. Uh, we're going all in on food for tech. And that's six, oh baby, I'm still going all in though. But I won't be spending food for a while. <laughs> won't be spending food for a while no 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 let's get the ship back to base by the time we get back hopefully we'll all be in shape to get going we still got over a day 11 hours so uh, an eight hour flight yeah we're gonna be fine getting over here we are gonna be fine the other thing i'm thinking about is why don't i now send uh, a landon avery who has since been healed up let's just double check chaos while we're here and we have a little dead time and pop on over there see if there's anything anything interesting all right the marketplace uh let we'll look at vehicles now we have another chaos bug oh it's only 351 for a freaking chaos buggy wow uh let's see if there's any chaos buggy attachments that make sense so far everything for something else now we have a goo turret Ha <laughs> ha! Interesting. Uh, we have a revised armor plating reduces effect of blast damage. Eh, has a missing key. Whatever. Somebody pick that up, please. Mephistopheles, Scorpio, a lot of, lot of extras for other things. Reinforced plating is no, that's armadillo, aspidas. There's just not a lot. And the spiked armor. I think they've fixed that up, but I think it in this iteration, it may still be a little buggy. Uh, they've got some fun things going on in the vehicle rework uh, in the closed beta that they're testing before they release it. So, uh, uh, you know, I was kind of hoping for a nice armor plating of some kind, of th which this kind of does for melee attacks against us, and they, they suffer, yeah... Not quite what I was looking for. So uh, let's get back to the equipment. And what I did think we could pick up is uh, we need some Tormentor ammo because we only got one shot left in the Tormentor. So I'm going to pick that up for just a measly 44. I'm going to take a look at the other... Oh, you know, you know, you know, you know. Uh, let's see if there's any interesting options here. Mutation technology, but now all of a sudden, since we've been gaining some favor with Anu, I'm almost saying, well, maybe we have a chance to get it after all. <laughs> I think we're 9% away from maybe having access to it. So uh, I'm not going to spend that big of a chunk of money. What I'll do instead, uh, I was thinking of another priest, or as this is, a ghost priest. Let's see what the backstory is on this one. So you hear about them before you see one, and everyone has heard the stories. It was supposed to be a clandestine Synedrian program, experimenting with shared lucid dreaming, controlled exposure to mist, and other paraphysical phenomena. But you have never heard any firm agreement around what these experiments were hoping to achieve. Some say they were trying to develop truly unmediated human closeness and empathy. All that is known for sure is that they managed to escape together and that they live as refugees in the bandit towns and that they are uniformly unstable. Oh, yeah, let's go hire an unstable priest called Ghost. <laughs> oh, you don't see this one blink once during the negotiations. You know, it might be the helmet, guys. <laughs> Take off the helmet. Maybe we'll see him blink. But, uh, okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to... Since we got that wonderful burst of materials on that one uh, exploration, I'm going to go ahead and get ourselves a priest. And speaking of priests, uh, I have the name in front of me of who happens to be Nest. And, well, Red Jack, whether you wanted a priest or not, you got one now. And you are now our only living priest. <laughs> I mean, only, not, not our only living priest, our only living Merc, <laughs> who happens to be a priest. So there we go. Uh, we're going to 
fly you right back to get some leveling up and training in the base, maybe, so you can start picking up perk. Let's get a sense. You're privileged. Well, you know, I don't think a priest necessarily has to carry that much if he starts gaining for his mind game. So if anyone's going to be privileged, I guess that's good. Perception is good. Speed is good. So we'll take them. Now you have the ability to vanish, so you indeed are a sneaky priest. How about that? Sinedrian gave, gave you some weird skills. You have a fire resistance, which is never a bad thing. Uh, you have AR targeting. So target ally within 10 aisle. Oh, any target ally within 10 tiles, you can give them an extra 20 accuracy. Aha! Interesting. And you also have endurance. You recover, or recover restores extra 25% willpower, removes acid, poison, and bleeding. Cool little effects over here. I think the top row is pretty standard for a priest. But there's some interesting adjustments down here. Uh, what your overall armor is looking like is it's not super hefty. <laughs> not at all. And you're proficient with a sniper rifle. A priest who can snipe. What a combination here. So these mercs have some surprises uh, to bring to the table. We got a sniper, which we can use, and we can also use we can also use uh, another priest on the team. So there you go, Red Jack. You got some uh, bizarre crossover skills here. Bizarre, bizarre, bizarre. Uh, what I am probably going to eventually do, I don't, doesn't look like I have, oh yeah, we have other sniper rifles. That's just in the, so I, I thought, oh, I do. If I go up here, I have other sniper rifles. I do have others. Uh, I can give you a little more pop there. I, you don't need to just use independent. I can improve you here. Effective range 51 versus 45. That already is an improvement. And I think uh, we'll go with the improved aim is what we'll do. And this comes with eight shots, so having one more pop of ammo for this thing is probably not a bad thing. And you're fully laden, my friend. Uh, that's what privilege does to a person. <laughs> oh, man. That sucks. Oh, baby. That's crazy. Well, based on your uniform and the color of your gun, you'll, you'll stand out on the battlefield, that's for sure. So anyway, let's get going. Fly you back to the base so you can gain some training and therefore some usefulness to us. And uh, let's get everybody else flying while we're at it. All right, we're back to the base. We're waiting for one more ship to fly back up. Let's make sure he's flying. Yeah, I do have him flying. And uh, we have the other ship over there flying too. So we're just waiting for a flyer to pop out and everybody to get back to base. Oh, so we do have a mission over there. Let's see if there's some way we can gain... <laughs> can we gain a little help? Can we gain a little positive rep with a Synedrian, maybe? So when the Manticore 1 arrives at Shelly, our operatives encounter a crisis situation. An unknown fungus has been found growing inside the Haven. The local scientists are extremely alarmed and everyone is doing their best to figure out how bad the situation is. So, well, I'm definitely offering assistance. I, fortunately, we traded for the tech so I can afford it. And let's cross our fingers that we gain rep with more than just the Haven leader. And maybe we can gain some back with Synedrian as a whole. Cross your fingers. Oh, we might just get over 40 and then we'll have a chance. I don't know if that, the, the thing is, I don't know if that's going to be the cutoff for that one selection that was uh, blacked out before. Let's find out. This is this might be exactly what I was hoping for. Therefore, we would lose the fun of walking in on a three-way battle, but in doing that choice, I doubt we would take the hit that we would otherwise take on Sinedria, and that's, that's what I'm hoping. So, after a great deal of hard work, the growth is isolated and removed. Turns out to be a highly mutated strain of Oh yeah, scientific names. Aromothesium gossipii, which could have caused severe damage to the Haven's crops. How it infiltrated the Haven remains unknown, but the inhabitants are deeply thankful for our help. 
So good. We gained the plus five. That should bring us to 41 if my math works. And there we go. Now we'll get to find out if when we get to this mission, if that's enough to unblock all the choices and not just three of the choices. And the good thing is, look, we look at we got all sorts of uh, areas to explore nearby now. So let's let's get to it. And a flyer has come out, so it's time to get the Aurora flying. And let's see, it kind of looks like it's heading in a New Jericho direction. Aurora, try to meet up over there. And then, are all my airships back? Let's find out. Manticore 2 is, and so is the Land and Avery. Look, let's look at our personnel. Maybe are we are ready to go. What we're going to do is, Red Jack, I'm sorry, you will not be flying with us, but... We're going to put you in the base for further training. And then it looks like those that were in the base gained uh, some upgrades and promotions. So let's go through those real quick. Tom, Kapla, Sko, let's get you going here. And? Yeah, okay. So you don't gain... Oh, well, what, what it does allow us to do is pick up Kill and Run and still be able to spend uh, points for you. You have Crap Will. Let's face it, you have Crap Will. Uh, on, on a mission, you can only afford to do one quick A before you need to recharge. The good news is you have good per perception or good speed and night vision. So you know what I'm going to do in the meantime is uh, we're pumping up your health. Excuse me. Yeah, it's more than just health. It's strength, too. So you're no lo longer overburdened with this. So... That's a nice improvement. I can't wait till we pick up Ready for Action so we can switch around stuff a lot easier and quicker for you. Let's go see who else. There's two more with promotions. We got this dude. Looking pretty healthy all of a sudden. Looking pretty healthy. Just three more stamina. And I think I'm going to pick them all up just so we take no hits to Delirium. And... Let's see what we have as far as promotions. Well, guess what? You have the magic ready for action. And we're picking it up. We'll keep the seven in reserve for now. So good job, good job, good job. Oh, wait. Let's go back to... Uh, well, let's do our last promotion, which I think is Jonathan. And we are picking up the deep decoy promotion. And I... And because of the decoy, I'm going to actually give you a spot of willpower. There you go, because it's an expensive, it's a very valuable, but yet expensive perk. All right. Now, there's one thing. When I was up here with Tom, I was thinking I was going to do this. And I uh, am thinking, let's give you a helmet upgrade, Mr. All-Independent Armor. And now, <laughs> instead of being having your head taken out with 18 armor, you at least have 23. So five more armor with really no other changes. We just had, we just armored you up a little bit. And so uh, that's your that's your reward for your promotion. Let's put it that way. All right. Um, now it's just a matter of, you're the only one that needs anything, this dude. So I'm gonna keep people there for like an hour or two, but I'm gonna start loading up the ships. So patchwork, I'm taking you. We'll t put you on the land in Avery. I am also thinking I want both my snipers for this particular mission. And they'll both go on the land in Avery too. Citizen Etermies, I, I feel this is a sniping kind of a mission with the Pure, uh, where snipers are vital, and I'm taking the two that I have. Uh, machine Hater, my priests are not going because the, the Pure tend to have, you know, protections in their their augmentations in their heads to make that particularly difficult and your weapon just isn't going to get through their armor very well. So the next thing to do is take a look at, I'm thinking spider drones would be amazingly handy on this mission. That's what I think. And so you're also going, Jonathan. Now I got to fill up the other ship and I'm going to fill up the other ship because we have the far M on there, even though I won't be able to take everybody I put on the vehicles on the mission. If we should have injuries on the mission, I'll still have extra replacements so we can keep the teams flying and keep doing stuff. And that's that's my plan. Now, Tristan, what are you what are you sporting? Uh, now I know 
Everybody wants upgrades, 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 upgrades. Uh, but I, I like the fact that you have rockets and grenades to help out against the pure. That's a big deal to me. Uh, you're you're going. Uh, I think a technician in Blimpy, and don't worry, Biaclonic, your turn will come soon enough. Is a good call. This dude with his shield is always a good call. Uh, Floki with his special weapon. So, Tom, I'm sorry, I'm going to defer to Floki just because he has that, that amazing weapon right now. And I'm probably going to finish it off with... I think Insectoid has... He's, he, he owns rockets right now. Oh, yeah. So that, that could be quite useful also. All right. I think the ships are full. Let me just double, oh, I need one more on the Manticore. What do you know? One more on the Manticore. So Tom, you are going. There we go. Everybody else will stay back. Kenneth, this is no way a punishment to you <laughs> for taking out our Merc. You are mind controlled, my friend. You are mind controlled. So don't, please, don't take it this way. Uh, besides, you, you guys tend to be our lowest, so a little extra time with our improved training cannot hurt in the least. And uh, before and once, and the other thing I want to look at and, and then checking the cost is, what is the cost of a Far M these days? 75 and 600. I think I uh, kind of feel like I should bite the dust, but we'll remember to check in after our mission because I want to make sure after the mission we have what we need to replenish what it costs us. And uh, I want to get the Far M, so the Aurora, which is flying out to, to, to meet up over here, the Aurora can then be used as a passenger vehicle once the behemoth is driven away. That's that's the overarching plan. Now, uh, I'm going to keep... We're going to just go for a couple hours. And we're going to explore here. And then we're going to go back here to... Everybody's 100% on the Manticore 2. And so just that little bit of time. And even this dude is 100% right now. So it's time to fly over to our mission over here. Land in Avery, Manticore 2, get a moving, get a moving, get a flying. And then at some point along the way, we may have the air game first. We shall see. Oh, lovely. Well, we aren't facing the Pandoran, so we don't have to worry about facing whatever has evolved. But we have a, a new, okay, an Arthron Tyrant Champion has evolved. And he looks heftily armored. I mean, 350 hit points. He is one hefty dude. 30 armor on the torso, though the torso is not something to take out. His gun is still... The gun is always, when they start armoring up like this, the gun is what you try to take out and deal with the spitterhead. Is what it boils down to quite often. Because even the legs now have 30 armor. Uh, Carapace is a little on the weak side, which sometimes can be easier to hit also, with only 20 armor, so a little armor break and pow-pow into the Carapace, which is a decent-sized target, is also a nice way to play this guy. Uh, let's keep going. And this guy, the, this guy's not too crazy yet. Claw and, except he can hit us at a distance, hit us up close. Uh, long range, short range, he's got it all, and even a little bit of speed. So, there's that. Uh, but not a ton of armor. Especially in those agile, fast legs. Now we got Siren Banshees that have upgraded 530 hit points. The Siren Ban Banshee also instills friendly micro, and they now come with Acid Spray. That is their, their new thing now. Nothing special. Uh, oh, the injector arms. I think I they've always done a little virus. But armor-wise, what is the head? A head is up to 30 armor, so it's getting a little harder to knock out the mind control uh, with these upgraded versions here. And the tail on this one, heavy tail, 30 armor. So the tail, which is usually a go-to place for us to take these things out because it's easy to hit, is, is has become armored. Maybe that's why, because we're hitting it in the freaking tail too much. 
And then we have a Harbinger, which is less hit points, but much more movement. Interesting. But the tail, being agile, has a little less armor. And the head, though, is up armored to 30, acid spray, etc., etc. So it's, it's just a, a faster version, easier to take down as far as hit points go, version. This one can, can close in a lot faster. And finally, they have learned Pandoran Acid Tech. Wonderful. Okay, so we're going to have to see what we can do to protect against acid. And actually, I think I looked in here. Yeah, we've we've covered this, and we can now research, once we finish this, bonus re effects. You can now research acid resistance technology. I, I think we need to put that in the queue. We almost have our incendiary grenades. I'm then going to go to up... You know, to notch up, hopefully that means uh, not just grenades, but maybe up, uh, I don't know. I think it may only unlock research. I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it. And we'll just have to remember to move up acid, uh, acid worm autopsy to see what kind of resistance technology is out there. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's get a flying once again. Research complete. All right. The uh, oh, this is uh, a slightly different look to it. The, it's a hazard protection vest now. So not only does it come with fire resistance, it also comes with blast resi resistance. So it's, uh, it's it's dual protective. I like that change. I don't think it was like that before with dual protection. We also have a flamethrower now available. Uh, let me know. I know I've been asked about upgrades on certain folks out there. Uh, is this one of those upgraded weapons you think would be interesting? Otherwise, uh, we gained incendiary grenades, which is nice to have here and there. In fact, uh, speaking of manufacturing, I'm not going to commit to the far end just yet, just since we're about to go on to what could be an expensive mission or a long mission, if it's still the three-way mission and not not the option for two-way, but I'm, I'm going to add a couple purification grenades, and then we'll see about when and where and how we want to build the Dante, the flamethrower. All right, uh, we're almost there for the air game. And did we finish anything up here? No. We are waiting. We have the faster ship. At least our manticores are faster. And uh, the air game will start. Let's just watch our exploration here. Construction complete. Ah, we also finished our cybernetics lab. How cool is that? So we'll be able to do some cybernetic research. Let's just pop in here on somebody, see what's available. It's very, it's bare bones minimum right here. Whoops, right here. So starting out, we only have one row. After we do this mission coming up that we're flying to, we'll gain some more potential augmentations. So right now we have the clarity head so we can be immune now that they're upgrading their sirens. This wouldn't be bad to have on, some, on various people here and there. We also have access to the Juggernaut Torso. Not always my favorite. You know, I don't always feel like I need to just be bashing through things. But, you know, it can be fun. And then we have the Immune to Goo legs also for those that might be able to do it, use it. So the basic level of augmentations are out there. I'm not going to jump right into them yet, especially now that they just evolved acid technology or improved acid on the Pandoran side. That, that unfortunately eats through. That is the one weakness to cybernetics, and that is acid. All right, let's keep going. Lad Land. So our operatives have discovered a theme park dedicated to the lucrative lads, a novelty boy band made up of young hedge fund managers who enjoyed enormous success with their single, Golden Gecko before crashing spectacularly when their second album failed to sell more than a... Oh, poor, poor guys. More than a hundred copies. The park, like the band itself, was initially thought to be intended ironically. It is unusually well-preserved. So Rupert Classy Lad Kane, formerly of the band, now works as an analyst for New Jericho, 
In an urgent message, he pleads for us to destroy the park and not let anyone know about it. Please. <laughs> I don't want him to know I'm in a boy band. Mr. West does not know about my history with the band, he says, and I don't know what he would do if he found out I was part of something so... <laughs> frivolous. <laughs> oh, this story always cracks me up. Uh, you know, we can burn it down, help him out. You know, what are we going to gain if we just help this guy? He has no connections. Uh, I can try gaining with New Jericho. I would not gain anything there. I'm capped out. We're just going to take the materials. Goodbye, Park. You're going to get your wish after all. Rupert Classy Lad Kane. Yeah, nothing came of it. 300 materials is good, though. Half the park appears to be made of plywood, but there's at least a few bits and pieces we can repurpose. And we did. And let's just keep flying and exploring. I want to keep my eyes back over here. We're almost there. We're almost here. Let's go. All right, so it looks like the air game came first. And this is the more difficult. Uh, uh, no, 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 I take that back. The ram is visual. We can dodge visual. Uh, I was... My first in inclination was not seeing the poison weapon that it that we couldn't. This is this is good. We should be able to handle it. Let's go. We'll go for the spikes first, and as long as we have dodge, uh, we'll go after the body after that. Now the Pandoran weapons have extra accuracy, although only one out of three of those spikes hit. We're missing two out of three hit there. Right now, they're hitting at 50%. There we go. We knocked it out. That's our last hit and only one of three. So, so much for improved accuracy. We are going to start going against the hull. See if we can bring her down before the ram closes into distance and we have a chance to do that without having to use this. Although it did take damage, we'll have to repair it. Here we go. And that's a nice reward. Who cares about the attitude? We are capped with New Jericho, but I really like that reward. So let's just go back now and get repaired. We took a slight ding to the hull and the afterburners. We could function if we had to, but we will take the Aurora and uh, get repaired. Now we have disrupted here. It's roaming the land still. Eventually, since it's disrupted, it will go to water. In the meantime, we still have to keep our eyes open for flyers. That's just what it does. Until it's officially underwater, it can still send out flyers. So we're going to have to keep our eyes peeled there. And we are almost at our mission. And here's the big time we find out. Will we have the fourth choice unlocked or will we not? And we don't. Oh, darn, it wasn't enough. Well, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a three-way mission instead. So the Manticore 2 is overflying Margadine. This is where Sinedrian's clandestine lab doing advanced research into bionics is located. It is well guarded. The leader of Margadine, Una Lewis, will not allow our operatives anywhere near the lab grounds unless or until they come under attack by the pure. Then we can probably use the confusion to break in. But we will have to fight both the pure and Sinedrian in that case. Yeah, there might be other options, like blacked out options that I couldn't quite get to because I lost favor with Sinedrian and didn't gain back quite enough. Oh well. Maybe I had to be all the way up at the 49%. For all I know. So let's get let's get ready. Uh, we're, we're, it looks like we're committed. Uh, it's giving me all nine individuals. I was thinking I was gonna take patchwork on this one, try to keep him out of lines of fire and just launch his uh, Vishnu rockets at the enemy. I do think I want these three. I want these three, and then I have to remove. Unfortunately, a few of you will be sitting on the sidelines. I'm very sorry for that. And I'm going to do it this way. I want Floki because he's got a special chaos weapon. A Blimpy, I want his turrets. And Tristan has rockets and grenade launchers. So now we just got to look and see how they are equipped. And see if 
we want to change anything. Now what I could do, I think what I'm going to do is pop you with strength. And then I'm, I'm envisioning you as being a distant guy. You know, the, the ideal way to play this, whether it'll work or not, is to sit on the sidelines a little bit and, you know, <laughs> sit on the sidelines a little bit and let them duke it out and hopefully find a safe place to just rocket and grenade launch from a distance, Vishnu rocket from a distance, wearing them down as they duke it out and we do our best to stay out of the fray. So that that's the plan and you're slightly over encumbered by two i'm going to move this rocket here for a quick reload so we have three rockets and two loads of grenades to wear down the armor primarily ideally only on the on the you know what's the pure the blimpy uh we do have a second turret for you so we are going to take it and we'll have to lighten your load on Grenades? Actually, you do not need that either. So we can put a grenade or two back. And you do have healing arms, so I'm only going to keep it there. And if, if a gr grenadier could chuck grenades, you're going to be one of those could he, would he, would chuck, could chuck kind of thing. Well, once you throw out your, your, your turrets, uh, you'll have plenty of grenades to still stay in the fight. I'm picking up electric reinforcement in case we need it, the extra armor, and that's your turn, Blimpy, or your setup. This dude, I decided not to take you as much as uh, you, you know, everybody can help on these missions, but you're going to sit on the sidelines, Floki, just because he has that weapon, in case we get in trouble. We're also going to, once again, you know, you have a, I, I'm going with the strength just so we can carry that little bit more. And the question becomes, I'm going to keep it like this. No questions. <laughs> Sectoid, as much as I value your rockets, I am leaving you back out of this one. Purely because uh, if if we, I, I, at some point I need to build you a grenade launcher too. So we have multiple ways to launch and blast and explode things. Tom, uh, same with you. Your weapons aren't quite as powerful as Floki's. That's the only reason you're being held back. Patchwork, you're fine that way. Um, we did pick up this ammo. So we're reloading your weapon. We do not need, I think, this kind of a weapon. It does not make sense. So, how do I want to work this? You now you have plenty of shots there. Let's keep that at, at hand. And I guess we just throw you an extra... I don't know what we throw you extra. Uh, well, I, I could also then, so I don't have to waste the expensive ammo, in case we get a pistol shot, we do this. And that comes with 20 shot or 21, excuse me. So I, I can't even see because, oh, we do have Gunslinger. Okay, we'll pick up backup ammo there. And, okay, now you're at full strength. Let's pick up the backup ammo clip I wanted. There we go. That's the partial one. And you're probably not going to be able to do that. We're going to we're going to have you just carry a backup med kit like this. Citizen Etermes, you also we're going to set down the neuro, the the paralyzing weapon and we're going to give you backup ammo too in case we have to shoot a lot. You also now. You know what else I might give someone just in case we have a chance to make use of it? is an extra shredding pistol. And then I can still give you a grenade. Well, let me, no, no, I can't. If, if I have a chance to shred, that has 10 shots and we'll just give backup ammo. Probably at your distance, I'll be keeping you at. This will not be a thing, but just in case they catch us unaware and get close, we can shred with you. And I think that's it. Oh, no, no. Here we go. I was going to give uh, one more set of drones. So we have... Uh, 12 total to be able to pop out and I think we're ready to go now did anyone have any SP to spend yes we did uh, let's let's start working to get you up closer to 20 and I'm gonna dip into the pool to give you 20 and then eventually 
uh, Shane Marine Grunt Vanson, you'll be able to pick up this privilege perk and still be able to carry a proper amount of stuff and improve your speed and perception, which I will greatly appreciate. All right. All items on this battlefield will be automatically recovered. I will see this team down there in just a moment. All right, let's get an overview of where we're starting. You know, I kind of would have loved to start over here. I wonder, is, it's, is there a starting option where you can start over here? I don't know. I wish I had received that one. Um, this is now the closest building. There's no perfect way to get my uh, sneaky guy, my infiltrator over there, because there's mist all along the way that would then uh, expose us. So what I'll probably do is just keep, keep Jonathan hidden back here and try and get everybody else posted around this building. We don't see anybody right now and cross our fingers that we aren't nastily surprised. Uh, where is my heavy? And let's see how far you can jet right. jump, for starters. Ooh. That, I was hoping you... We're... we're ay, 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 ay. We're so close. So, 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 so close. Um, I don't mind. I guess what we'll do is we'll, we'll, like, jump you down here to get close. We'll start trying to set up around this. I like this room looking at it, and indeed, there's no windows over on this side at all. So, like, this room would be a great one to hold up, hold up in if we can get there. That's the big question. There could be Sinedrian all th throughout this building, for all we know. But it would be a great place to, if I can get there, to kind of hole up for a mission. The only way is up the stairs. We can cover that with Overwatch. Snipers would be nicely done up top, just like my heavy would be nice to have up top to just launch rockets and grenades, raining them down on the combatants below on the field here. So, yeah, you know, let's hope. I don't know where they will be there. I don't know where they'd be coming from. So it's hard to know exactly what cover is good cover, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to come here, and then I should be able to just do a quick jump up to my preferred location after that. I will at least have an angle to launch some stuff this way if we happen to see anything. They then tend to not start back here. They can start in the building. Uh, they can start in this building. And so... This is where the big surprise could happen right now. But you're in the mist. Now, technically also, this is an extra mist VO, but this is not one with Pandoran, so the mist doesn't really, or shouldn't really work against us other than lowering our will whenever we're in the mist. So maybe I don't jump you into the mist proper. We'll just keep you kind of as close as I, we'll just go this far. Let's see. And we don't see anything, so stay there. Everybody else is gonna run, 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 as best we can. That doesn't look like that's in the mist. Floki, can you see anything from here? Let's go. Nope. Um, who else do we have? Blimpy. I'm just gonna run you as far as you can. Ultimately, I'm eyeing this ladder right here to get us over here. Uh, jet jumping, uh, we'll, we will have the high ground, you know, barring, you know, a flood of enemies coming through the door or a flood of enemies coming down this way or a whole bank of snipers on this side that can see us <laughs> tearing us apart. <laughs> you know, I have, <laughs> I have a very active imagination sometimes. And Jonathan, stay there. I'm going to just probably this first turn shoot out spider drones to also help us. And uh, they're great armor strippers for when we find uh, the pure. The and we'll get as many of those out as we can. And I'm just going to keep having you pump them out. And we found them. The blue rabbits. And we found a lot of them. Where the heck am I seeing? Oh, oh, baby. If I could launch something right now. Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> I'm 
it's like a wet dream. I'm sorry if I offended anybody with that comment, but oh my god, this is <laughs> I can get a little woo wee. <laughs> I like that. We are facing an array of the pure called the Blue Rabbits. Their leader is Cal. Using the tactic fire discipline, the allies within 20 tiles have return fire. Well, guess what? If the leader is one of those guys, they all have return fire. That's all I can say. Uh, this special symbol, I'm, I'm going to bet you right now when we check. No, he's just a good old meathead. What can I say? There's Kai. There's Kai. What is that symbol? Is that, I, I don't know that symbol. I'm often clueless. <laughs> Can he bank shots off the wall? Is that that's kind of what that symbol looks like? I need to improve on my Phoenix Point symbolology. Okay, uh, let's get our second one out there. And let's find out how far Patchwork is away. I don't think I can shoot a rocket over a double building. And I definitely can't reach that far anyway. Which is why I want to get up on this building in the first place. So I can reach places better. But we don't have that luxury right now. I'm going to keep you crouching right there. Let's hope there's a lot of Sinedrian over on this side of the building to draw their attention. And not come running through the building looking for us. I can move this far forward and still be able to launch my rockets. And this is where we cross our fingers. And it looks like crossing fingers means nothing, unfortunately, because I cannot, I do not have the oomph to get it over the building. So we will save that option. I will bring patchwork a little farther forward. So we're that much closer, yet still should have the ability to launch stuff over buildings. And I'm going to try that. And hope there's not a bunch of Sinedrian that are going to come pouring out of here and just damage the heck out of Patchwork. If I could overwatch past Patchwork over here, I would. But everybody's moved. Uh, we, unfortunately, are done. Okay, that's not shooting at us, but we found Charlie Boys. We're facing the Sinedrian squad called the Charlie Boys. Their leader is Jesse. Using the tactic, active camo. So character, oh my goodness, they're gonna be hard to find. Characters and allies within 12 tiles of the leader of Jesse get 100% stealth. And for Sinedrian, that's a nice perk. Okay, that's, that's behind the building, and they're shooting at these, so good. There are Sinedrian that, that desire to shoot the pure. And they, they've got the head of the leader already taken out. That was a crossbow, so that's an infiltrator. And there's an Espita on the map. Another reason for us to gain the high ground. And a speeder that can shoot zapping powers at a distance is what that looks like. So the Vishnu rockets may be oriented towards that blip pretty quickly. I shoot you, you die. Seems like Sinedrian is hitting them hard, and it seems like there's a heck of a lot of Sinedrian out there. Now it's the Pure's turn. We only know of four of them so far. And now their turn to hurt in return. That's like the fifth one we're aware of so far.
That sounded like a turret. So they're not going for the Espita that seems like it's right over there somewhere. And they're taking a lot of hurt in return also. So they're dealing each other lots of pain. I am happy that there does not appear to be a lot of these enemies near me at the moment. Not that I should consider Sinedrian an enemy. Leaping augmented legs. A pure sniper, never fun to deal with. There's a lot. There are a lot of both of them. Okay, so uh, now is our time to, to try and make our move. To take the high ground and take our protected spot right here. And I think I'm just going to bring you here. There should be enough to shoot at, it would seem. Uh, for you to reach from this point initially. Okay, and I can do a rocket, but we'll hold off for shooting that rocket yet. Loki. I can at least get you inside up here, because if I get you up these stairs and we see something nasty, uh, I'm you're just going to run inside, I think, right now. Make sure the room is clear. We do not see anybody upstairs. Everybody's down on the ground level. And for starters, I'm going to bring you here. So in case this guy has any notions of running up those stairs, he will not. This is Wes. He's a citizen. He is not the leader. In fact, I think the only other Sinedrian we know of right now are blips. <laughs> so I can't, I can't unfortunately locate their leader to find who he's helping infiltrate. And I swear, I think this is the blip over here. These guys chose to shoot at a person instead of the vehicle. There is a vehicle out there, my friends. Hopefully it uses all that ammo. If it is a shooting weapon attachment on this Espita, hopefully it uses all that ammo on them, the pure, before it even has a notion of where we are. That is what I'm hoping. So since the upstairs is open and free, I'm going to bring, oh, I don't really want to stand in that doorway. So we're going to take a hit, a slight hit on Will, because we're going to stand at the base of the stairs. So we can start getting our positions over there, Shane, Marine, Grunt, Vanson. And then, uh, yeah, we'll come back to you. Let's see how anyone else can make it up. No. So we're going to have a couple. Let's see, uh, before, I don't think anybody else will have the movement to make it up there. So I will stand you, Citizen Attorneys, at the base of the stairs. Watch out, I'm moving in. We see anything through the door. Yeah, I, I'm not aware of it. You're, it's good cover if those blips can see us. Ready to go to work. A blimpy. I'm thinking uh, I'll bring you here. Get you also close to the stairs and then uh, We'll get you up here so you can start throwing turrets. I'm thinking uh, this could be... Uh, the, there's railings here that are not solid. And we actually should and might be lucky enough to be able to place a turret, whether we're depending on where the action really centers up, here to get an angle out this way or here to get an angle over this way. Uh, we'll have some options. And that's the plans with you, Blimpy. So let's bring you up here. Let's go. And Jonathan. Uh, I'm just going to stand you there. It's all about the I think skills. the best thing we can do right now is let's just pop these babies out there. So uh, it's going to take them a while to advance. It's going to end. We got a free reload for the first one. It's going to take a while for them to advance, but we're going to have, you know, the spider drone army advancing primarily on the pure at first. So we can. Try and hurt him. Now this guy hopefully will not turn around and notice us, so we'll, we'll at least give cover that way. 
And we see the turret. Ah, it might be able to shoot us at that angle. It might be able to, uh, although hopefully its accuracy is not good enough. And now I got to figure out where I want. I'm thinking of launching a rocket right there, is what I'm thinking. Uh, I'm leaning Execute. towards uh, shooting the pure initially. Or shooting at the pure initially because they have the most armor and I need to strip it whenever I have the chance. I went a little too far, but I should have been able to pick up a couple of them. This guy and whoever this one was may have got hurt. And uh, the turret was untouched, so we shot a little long on that one. Uh, we are going to get this next spider drone charging forward. Yeah, that it it's kind of sort of cover against the Sinadrian. Yeah, the worst thing Sinadrian can, can do is shoot away my <laughs> shoot away my guys before I get a chance to use them. I I may just come back here, see if we can place this one more accurately, and at least hurt three things in, in one shot. And we may have just done that. So let's see what kind of damage we did. Oh, we went a little too far, but we may have hit this instead. So it looks like we may have hit here and still had a chance for a trifecta damage. We just The, the turret is just uh, a lucky son of a gun, is what the turret is. So I think everybody pretty much has moved now. But the only one left is Floki. I was gonna move you in here to finish your turn. And let's watch the fun. I don't think they like the Think of it as reverse solidarity. Activating abilities reduced. Good, he chose to shoot at them and not a spider drone. We put him in good enough cover to protect ourselves. And that looks like a soon to be dead. Sure. Oh, he's hitting the turret too. Good job. That infiltrator's helping us a lot. And this thing. Yeah, it's just standing there. I don't know. Those look like, uh, you know, paralyzing. Yeah, it's paralyzing. Long-range paralyzing weapons. And the good news is they have limited ammo. So this Aspida may run itself out of ammo before it even sees us ever, which is what I'm hoping. And therefore, I don't have to deal with it. So that turret is now operating on its own because its operator is down. That sounds like a dead Sinedrian. Yep, the blip moved. He died. Back to us. Back to us. And Jonathan, you know what your job is right now? It's this. Well, you can argue that this makes this an expensive mission, but when it comes time to have to face them without the Sinedrian helping us, we will be grateful to have those spider drones out there. And I'm thinking... We don't see anything, so that means nothing can shoot back at us. And none of these guys that were out here um, are sniper. The sniper, the pure sniper was over here. So I'm going to bring my snipers up here to get over to the edge here and start clearing, helping to clear this side of the map, ideally. And then uh, 
Maybe we'll work at repositioning to another another high building like over here at some point. Repositioning prioritizing speed. Uh, I saw something though. There is. <laughs> Fortunately, it's a paralyzed. <laughs> oh man. That, that was lucky. Thank you, Aspita. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The Aspita has paralyzed that one for us. How about that? So I don't have to worry about a, a sniper shot. All right. Uh, unfortunately, it also means... Uh, no, you can't see the turret. That was somebody else. Let's move on to our next individual, and that is Blimpy. He's the one that can see the turret. But all I'm going to do with Blimpy is uh, get him over here. Well, let me let, me, let, me let our other sniper Get up the ladder. Here. Shane, Marine Grunt Manson, I'm going to bring you here and probably have you giving vision either through here or over here on this side. That's where Make we'll set nice. you up initially until we feel like we have to move. And Blimpy will put you at the base of this ladder. Okay, we're all getting up. We're all getting safe. We're all getting protected. Sort of, kind of. So he's looking to panic. Where do I want to move my spider drones forward where they can kind of, sort of stay safe as we do that? Now, th with this guy panicking, I'm thinking I'm just going to bring one here. No, I'm going to bring it right here. And... We're helping to see things. So you stay there behind the little low wall. Anything that can get it obviously is down here. But right now, there's some mass panic happening from uh, the pure. And I, I see also panic on Sinadrian. So maybe there's just mass panic in general. <laughs> Better to watch others have mass panic than ourselves. And then I'm going to come back down to uh, the other spider drones, get them in position. Uh, we'll bring one over here. And Tristan, we have to decide where we want to. Now, these two are paralyzed at the moment. This guy was shot at by the turret. You know, it's like, where do I dare send them? Well, who's going to be calm? Who's going to recover? Who's going to regain their composure and be the biggest threat to us? Is kind of uh, what I'm questioning right now. How far can you shoot? Just to give ourselves an idea. Doing it. It's not like you can shoot all that far. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop this here. Start, start hurting some folks. And I do have the ability for Boom Blast. I think that's a, a four. Let's just double check. Yeah, four will points. So, in a way, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep you there until uh, so I can Boom Blast and reach a little farther to those that might help us more, especially with mass paralyzation and mass panic going on this turn let's get ourselves in a position to boom blast two times in a row if i need it need a moment uh patchwork you just have uh, seven more rockets so for you we'll, we'll we'll you know it's hard to know exactly the best place to go out on the map i'm gonna try uh even though he's paralyzed i'm going for two for damage here maybe i want to now we'll go here. That turret is an annoyance that I would like handled. Uh, we're going to keep you there for now, Patchwork. Uh, Floki. I'm going to keep you at the head of the stairs, kind of right here. It says you can see down there. It must be through the staircase, because that's right to the outside. So, um, yeah, he's panicked. He, he's this. not like he can turn around and shoot you, even though you can see him. Well, I guess we're helping the pure a little bit. Ah. 
Yeah, he's panicked. You can stay there. They're coming down. So the infiltrator, oh, the infiltrator's taking care of things out there. If I can get a blip, which I don't have uh, a clue, I don't have a blip about the infiltrator. Now, what I would think is if my infiltrator walks through this mist, I would hope if their infiltrator walked through the mist, we would see it. But we're not Pandoran either. So it might not expose it makes my guy visible walking into the mist, even though they aren't Pandorans. Okay. The Espita's moving around. Oh. Alright, there, there, there were... Did you notice the one thing about that? There were not a lot of shots coming from the pure. They're dropping. It's like Sinedrian's gonna win. So maybe I need to focus uh, some of my efforts. Although sometimes my only shots are against. Hmm. Well, this this would get you in position to Overwatch. Moving now. And we just spotted somebody else. Oh, there's. At least we see the guy. So this would allow us to get in kind of line of sight of the. Maybe I just keep you here for now, because I don't. I don't want. You know, who do we see now? Too. Oh, this guy. That's okay. He's still totally paralyzed. So you know we're gonna do a armor break shot over there for you. Let's just make sure the shot is worthwhile. Yeah, that, that works for me. Armor break. Good scream from me, Termites. Acquiring Take target. note. Take note, other snipers. That's how you armor break and prepare for armor break. All right. I'm thinking what I'm going to do. Start bringing you up this way, because there's a path to get you up those stairs into a uh, protected area now, too. We got a fair amount of spider drones out there I'm happy with because the pure are taking a beating. Moving in quick. A blimpy. I'm feeling like I'm going to want turrets out there, but now I'm not. I'm thinking with this side of the map thinning out rapidly that maybe we want to explore putting them elsewhere. Now this railing up here is pretty pathetic. I'm thinking I may bring you over this way. How far can you get upstairs and uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll bring you over here and hope there's no sniper that's gonna pick you off. So we can set up our tur turrets over this way. Kristen. I'm also thinking uh, I'm going to relocate you too. And that's going to, the, the jump, you know, we recovered Will, you no longer will have two, do, two boom blasts available, but you will uh, be a lot closer now. In fact, maybe I put you here. I'm trying to think, uh, this thing will be in the way for straightaway shots. And, you know, there's no perfect location because there, there's always potentially something in the way. I'm going to start here. And I can do a rocket. Part of me says, you know, we gotta also be thinking about with with the pure taking taking a big time beating. I am gonna use the rocket on their sniper here, cause uh, he can hurt us if we don't start wearing down some of that armor. And that was, that was fine. Then, patchwork. Somewhere over here is an Espita. Wouldn't it, 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 it moved into the mist. Do we dare do a blind Vishnu if our Vishnu could even reach that far? And it can't. So.
Let's see how far your Vishnu can go over the buildings. It can. So I'm going to start weakening a little Synedrian down and blowing away some mist. And it looks like we did a fair share of damage on a sniper. Yeah, snipers I'm happy to get rid of, even on Synedrian especially. And if I... I'm going to have to start working on range for where... Pay, pay attention where the infiltrator appears to be. We may have to launch a grenade or two off in the direction of an infiltrator at some point. Channel open. I'm going to come here. I'm going to give you a, a, a shot, Shane Marine Grunt. And I don't think I need armor break at this point. We'll save the will. Uh, he won't quite be dead. But he almost will be, so maybe Sinedrian can finish him off. Gotcha. And we're done with patchwork. Uh, Floki. Not sure how to bring you out yet. A lot of windows in a building like this to bring people up, but I'm going to start bringing you up here, Floki. I don't feel like we have to be quite as hidden now. We maybe can start work on repositioning now as the numbers slowly are thinning. And there's nothing... Yeah, by the time we get the spider drones up to where they can do something for us, uh, people are dying before we get there. And we're starting to see things. And that's the other thing. Oh, boy. There's the party. There is the pure party. So there's a lot more pure than I expected still out there. So I better not take them for granted after all. Uh, let's not pick too much on Synedrian. Because the pure, if they stop panicking, can come back big time against us. He's a heavy. We'll go. Well, I, you know, I just don't think he'll be able to hit hit us at that distance. So I'm gonna go there. Direct action. Another pure has dropped. That was the infiltrator, by the way. Kinda in the neighborhood of that fountain. Just like we just He's gonna draw fire of all those pure and die. Like I said, he died so quickly he did not draw the fire of all the pure. Oh, they're coming for spider drones. Oh no, he's still watching over here. He might be in the range of our spider drone now. That person died. So pure are... I'm glad the spider drones got up there because we. Uh, I was misjudging that more pure had started dying than really had. Oh, that might have been a shot at the Aspida, is kind of what I'm thinking. All right, uh, Jonathan, let's, uh, we may start getting a, finally getting action out of the spider drones here. How far can they make it? They, they can start making it up here to really messing with these, start messing with these guys. And I like the idea of the farthest forward one messing with the, the sniper. Oh, except for that. Uh, I guess we should have messed with the heavy. I, I didn't even pay attention that he was walking in front of the guy. <laughs> now I can't reach the sniper, but I can do this. And that guy... 
We're starting to wear him down. He's just a meathead, but you know, meatheads need to die too. And nothing turned red. So we need to keep shredding. We shredded 50 armor in that one. Let's shred some more. But he may lose a body part this time. And he did. So he's not going to be shooting that heavy machine gun anymore. So our, our, our remaining spider drones should be okay. Okay, uh, Jonathan, I'm gonna keep bringing you around here. Right now, you are still hidden. Watch out, I'm moving in. And Blimpy, let's get you up here for some turret placement. Shake it, baby. Kind of feeling uh, maybe over here. Can I get a turret over there from you? Might give us some angles over this way towards the pure. And we'll hide you right here. On my way. Now, we got a free reload for our final rocket. And we also have a grenade. A launcher. Watch this. Uh, we had a problem reaching that sniper before. Ooh, could I, you know, it's probably going to wander and not pick up all three. But, you know, you got to try. And then uh, our final rocket. Check this out. Can it do the same thing? No, it, had, it doesn't have quite the arch as the other one. Uh, so we're going to send that rocket back over here. And these guys are wearing down. Then I got patchwork. I don't know that I can drop it in. Oh, I can drop it in here. We'll try it. You know, like I said, it's going to wander, but we'll try. And it hit multiples, it looked like. Stay there, patchwork. Loki. I don't really want to bring you forward yet because their sniper will start picking on us. Uh, but I will move us to get ready for eventually getting you some shots. And I can see something right now. Not amazing shot, but we're going to try wearing it down a little bit. Which you did a little bit of armor. Not, not, uh, yeah, only six. But hey, may help us next time. Now, we also have a shot over here. The clarity head. We don't need armor break if we're gonna hit. And we hit. I saw the body go down. Good job, Shane. I think I'm gonna just keep some overwatch out that way. And Citizen Etermes. Maybe we start picking on this other sniper because he'll slowly become unparalyzed. Targeting. While he doesn't have a shield, and it's easy to do. And armor break is on the table for you. Yeah! Come right in there. Juggernaut torso is done. And as far as, uh, so we got that guy panicked. I'm just going to put out a, a random overwatch. Maybe we can pick up an Espita if it makes an appearance. Maybe. So 
Bud is in the mist, that infiltrator. Feel like they're they're trying to come for us now. There's not a lot of Sinedrian left out there, and they're trying to come for us. I'm gonna get you up in this position, Jonathan. Still hidden. A blimpy. So if they're inside, where would they come up? They'd have to find access to ladders somehow to be able to track us down. And they're going to be hard to hit with our rockets and grenades. So before I do any movement, let's 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 check Charlie here first. Okay, he's done. He has nothing. So he just needs to leave. So this is where I need to get. I need to start advancing in a way that I can start exploding on these guys. So let's not open the doors so they can see us. Let's just get ourselves close over here, Spidey. Maybe you can help us out next turn. And Blimpy. There's not much left for our turrets to see all of a sudden. No. That's no fun. And this guy lost an arm, so he's going to be running away. Does he have any grenades? No. So I have an infiltrator somewhere over here. So I tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to do a boom blast. And see if we can uncover him somehow, because the infiltrator scares the heck out of me. Even with the peer coming for me. I didn't hear an ouch or anything of that nature. We found the infiltrator. It is a blip on the horizon right there. I don't know that our Vishnu will be able to see that far. And I have a feeling the Aspida has gone because I did not hear an Aspida roaming around. I'm going to move a little closer for the Vishnu. Right there. And, you know, as much as I fear and don't like the pure, an infiltrator is not something we need to deal with right now. There we go. And it's still alive, but heavily bleeding, and we'll see if that blip runs away coming up. Uh, that means I'm going to focus my spider drones over here towards the pure that are coming inside. So maybe we can blow him up there. And Blimpy, I don't have a good answer for you on, uh, you know, a turret. Maybe what we do is we, we throw the last turret over this way. So if they come up these ladders, that, that to me is the most likely place they come up based on where they are. Uh, maybe then you would have a shot. Let's just check the angle. Uh, that's a pretty tight area through here. I can set a turret here and would they you know it's hard to know an angle, the best angle for a turret, so let's just let's just place it here. I should be in sight of the stairways. Deploying tech. And we'll try that. I'm going. Not worth not worth the ammo. Patchwork done. Loki. Uh, I think it's time to bring you also down, so if they start coming up these stairs, you'll be available. I'm just gonna keep you nearby. I'll be there. Just 
Shane Marine Grunt. I think uh, we're bringing you right to the corner. And we're going to overwatch against them coming out this door. That's awkward to set up. And we'll do the same thing here. Etermis. I'm on Overwatch. <laughs> running away. I think we did our job against that infiltrator. Okay, running away. Running away. There's two pure that we know of. And they decided to go that way. Okay. At least the one did. Is there an, I thought there were two. Is, is one of those the injured guys inside? Yeah, who knows. Uh, let's see if our spider drones can make it that far. And start helping us. He doesn't have much health left. Can this spider drone get in there? He's lost an arm too. I think he's down. So there's not much left out there, to be quite honest, except the paralyzed guy. I don't know if the mission will end with an enemy paralyzed like this. I'll tell you what. Uh, can I get you somewhere safely farther forward while he's paralyzed? Everybody else you can see is running away. Just wear him down. Ha! Take that! What's our plan? And he's down. Everybody else is running away. Let's just do our next turn. Oh, they're panicking. They're not really running away. <laughs> okay, so the Vishnu... That ammo's essentially free. So we'll see if we can speed this up. Well... Oh, they're panicking right here. I can see the, the oil leaking as it is. And keep moving. And now Jonathan, I'm gonna I'm gonna run you forward. Tango spotted. Oh, we just got surprised. Fortunately, I have snipers on the roof. Finger on the trigger. So I'm not taking out any body part unless I want to try for an arm. I need more training. He fumbled? You fumbled? How are how 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 can you fumble as a as a infiltrator? That's what that symbol means? Well, we have backup, my friend. We have backup. All right. That was a good kill. That was an emergency situation, and we had your back, Jonathan. Let's put Overwatch out just in case there's another unknown <laughs> infiltrator out there. You know, stranger things have happened. Area covered. Let's go. Got you covered. Ready to 
Oh, there's another deadly sniper out there. So I've lost count, and there's a couple surprises still left out there, and Jonathan is visible. Uh, Jonathan? I've become uninvisible. I don't want a sniping pure to pick you out, pick you off all of a sudden. Yeah, that's a wall. Moving in quick. We'll play it safe. The mission has gone so well so far, we'll play it safe. Now... Hmm. Well... I think we can try this. Okay. Not quite the doable. So I have to risk an Overwatch shot, because he is on Overwatch, just to get the proper line for my rocket. And it didn't pop. Why? What is hanging over? Oh, it's that building? I thought I had a line from where we are. Let's give it a go. You know, the wandering shot. Let's pull you back. Now I have a sniper here who I don't think can gain a shot down there. So we have to worry about a sniper coming at us. Oh boy, do we. Uh, Blimpy. Relocate. We're going to pick that up when we have a chance. keep my eyes open and Tristan I don't know that we have anything we can drop over the edge to be quite honest let's see if uh, a grenade has an arc or an angle not really hmm and he might be running hey, who knows where he's gonna move so I don't know the best place to position ourselves right now. Doing it. Yeah, it's an iffy shot. It's, it's it all it has to do is wander an inch, and, and it's no good. So uh, we're just gonna keep you there. You know, some kind of Overwatch down here in case he. Yeah, I can't even see down there. Oh well. Hang out. Loki, uh, we can get you moved up this way to a position of cover so you can run out and go aha soon. And I need uh, some more overwatch over on this side is what I feel. Good job. Good job. Is that really the best they can do? Now, let, let's finish him off. I think we can it's bring cool. you back out here, Jonathan. <gasps> he has arms where he could have shot? Oh, my lord. Well, not today. I am not good at this. What is this fumbled? Thing you have going on right now. What is this icon of fumble that you have going on right now? Now, fortunately, I have snipers once again. There, and we disabled the arm. Uh, I, I gotta look at, well, we gotta look a little closer at your character and figure out why the heck the fumbles are happening like this. Uh, I, you're, you're, you're a freaking infiltrator. Uh, why are you fumbling with an infiltrator's weapon? That's what I've got to learn. You know, there's always something to figure out about a game. This guy's going to die out. He's done. 
Everybody else left the map. He's the only one left. Let's end the mission. In fact, who do I have? Where 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 did I throw Blimpy? Oh, I blew I threw Blimpy over here. Maybe you can get a lucky shot. No. Oh well. Now let's get to our snipers. Oh, Floki, you've you've been kind of quiet on this uh, this episode. So let's see if you can do the finishing shot. Let, let's try to give you a little satisfaction with a kill. And then uh, where are we there? Oh, there's the guy. He's gonna run and leave, but instead we'll snipe it just so we don't have to wait for the turn to evolve. Oh. <laughs> End turn. They're all running away. On the move. There we go. That should be it. Shane Marine Grunt Vanson got a level up. So good work there. Good, good work. All right. Uh, that's a fun mission to watch. It is long. So you're going to see uh, if you noticed a lot of choppy cuts during the AI turns, Sinadrian and uh, the Pure, that's because the computer took a lot of time thinking, and uh, th I just need to speed up those turns because the mission is long enough as it is. All right, another secret obtained. So the successful recovery of the research data has slowed down the Pure's advancement, but has also strained relations between the Phoenix Project and Synedrian, so we're going to see it drop again. Uh, additionally, we've received official communications from Tobias West suggesting it's in our interest to share the recently obtained knowledge. Well, sorry, Tobias. I don't even care if we lose relations with you two. But our secrets are our own. And uh, Synedrian lost 12. Oof. Oh, 29. Oh, my lord. We have some recovery to have happen. A lot of tech used up on this mission. Not so much materials. That's what the spider drones will do to you. But they sure helped at some key moments for some shredding. And uh, good mission. So uh, since I know this was a long mission, this is where I'm going to cut it right now. We have some research available. We're going to put the restricted bionic 17-hour technology in the queue. Uh, did I put the acid in there? Yeah, and then we'll I'll see about reshuffling after I get the poison weapons. We'll see what order I want to put it in. I'll try and set that up off camera or look at it next time. One or the other. I hope you enjoyed today's mission. It's a lot of fun to just sit back and watch. I was glad we were able to play it this way. Sometimes the starting locations... You know, you can't help but engage early, and that changes the whole flavor of the the mission. But we got lucky with a pure spectator kind of a mission, and just popping in long distance to hurt who we pleased at that moment to help balance the fight and make it easy for us in the end. Thanks so much. This is ZigZagZog signing off from somewhere in this world. Thanks so much for watching, and I do hope to see you next time.